Okay, so you're upside down and you're looking down from the top of the door at the window crank handle. Now this window is not rolling up or down. So on here, they make a special tool for this. But if you look in here, there's a slot with like a clip on it. Okay. And what you got to do is just pop that off like this. And then the crank will come off. So you, you don't really need this special tool. You can just use a special pair of pliers. And then it just pops back on. So pick a side, any side, and put it back on here. And the only thing that holds it in place is those two little pieces of wire. So I'll show you again. So when we want to reinstall it, we're just going to line it up and give it a push. And now it's popped back on, see? There's a window mount right here. This one unscrews. So we'll unscrew this. And then we can get the door panel off. And then there's just a set of, there's screws everywhere. Who knows where they are or what they are? Because you know, previous owners, sometimes these on this trim have to come out. But this one looks really short, so we don't want to lose it. And if there's like a black, scuffy spot that's probably a screw and they're really small sheet metal screws try not to lose them uh, there's a screw on this door handle so we took the one out of the door handle there's one here like I said, this one may or may not go all the way through. Looks like it does. This one. That one's extra long. And then there's one down here and over here on the bottom of this armrest. Then this little plastic piece will pop off. It's just squished in there. Try not to break it. We need to get another one. But it just squishes in there. And then there's another screw right there. So you can see them. And those are just, I must say, crappy sheet metal screws. And then I don't want to lose this one. Because as soon as I do, it's going to fucking drop out. So now this whole thing will just lift up. You kind of got to pull it up. And then it's off it's out so here's the inside of your door it's just made out of particle wood some oh sorry here's the inside of your door particle board some staples this part's metal somebody took this off already i can tell because they use duct tape so this is your access part for your window. And then here's your window cable. Now there ain't a lot of room in here. And so here's the two wires running from the door that go to nothing. So you got wires over here running through the door and they don't go to anything. So they were, I want to say most likely they were, could be for speakers. 
but we really don't need them. And then this is the piece that's supposed to go from here to here to hide these wires. So it just fell out. What's going on in this window? mess of we got a mess of something over here so what I want to do is <laughs> Where's my light? Where is my light? Damn it! I had it in my hand and then I got up and it was gone. Where is it? I need my fucking light. I didn't go get any tools. Did I? No, I didn't. Damn it. Damn it. So the window roll up mechanism has one cable that is a loop. And I know this is hard to see, but I'll try to show you because I can't get the camera in there to show you. So there's a roller. That's what the circles are. Roller, roller. There's a roller here, a roller here, there's another roller here, over here. And then the window thing goes over here. So the cables cross right here. So the bottom of the cable is gonna go up. And it goes up over this roller and then down to this roller. And then it goes up at an angle to this roller and down to this roller. And then it comes all the way back across. It goes to this roller and then back up over to the mechanism. So the cables are going down right here and that's where it attaches to the window and then it's what makes it go up and down. So the whoever put it in before didn't have the cables crossed. So the top cable was going up, the bottom cable was going down, and it was all cattywampus. And that's why it was all fucked up. <clears throat> so I'm gonna use the same mechanism, even though the cable's a little, it's got some kinks in it, but I think we'll be okay. So this is the bottom, so it's going to go up and the top goes down. So I'm going to finagle this in there and get started and try not to get this thing all twisted up. I put some tension on the cable and then I rolled it. So we're like halfway through the winding, so it's like four turns up four turns down it's eight turns total seven and a half whatever but i think i'm halfway through there and then once we get it on then we should be able to make some more adjustments 
to get it to work. So I'm gonna put this in here. And I'm probably gonna secure it with one screw, just for now. We'll see, I don't know. I had to take the passenger door card off to see what that one looked like. And this one was wrong. So you can definitely see the crossover on the other side. How am I going to get that behind there? I'm going to have to take everything off. I don't know if I can make you see this or not. So what I did wrong is this cable is on the wrong side of this cable so it's going behind it like that and it's going to pull and it's going to knock this one off the roller let me think about this I gotta take everything off ah! again that way I won't cross them over so take this
Oh, wait, I got an idea. I'm stupid. Give me a little slack. there but I don't want to lose the bottom got it okay okay don't touch anything back where it belongs. be able to play a song. Where's my tin? <laughs> Got it. So I'm gonna take this. Now, I should be able to put a cranker on here. Wow, that's really tight. That's all the way down. That's all the way up. That's all the way down. all the way up. And so what I'm going to do now is take this, loosen it. Dumbass. Come on. So now we have to get the window back attached to these cables. Got it. Now then, so we're full up on the crank. I'm gonna go, so we're here. I'm gonna put my fingers here. And I'm gonna go down like this. One crank. good and then I'm gonna take this put it like that I'm gonna drop this down like this and then this thing 
and it's now blinding the shit out of me. Okay. And so this turns, and there's a... Oh, it's just a... Fuck. There. So there's a nut back here, this screw, and then this thing pops underneath this slot here, and then you screw it in like this. You gotta hold the back. And I don't know what the torque spec is, but it's glass. And then this one's worse. I'm sure we can go up a little higher like this yeah and then I can go back like this put my finger back here get this washer out ow out and get my cable behind it like that and then we tighten it back up now we should have a window that rolls Come on. Ah! <laughs> it's not going all the way up. Something. Something. That's right. That's right. That. Can't see. Can't see. Shit. That's right. Take it loose here, wedge it into place there, crank it down here, and then all I have to do now is loosen this and loosen this. And I should be able to crank through. Loosen this. Loosen this. Crank through. There we go. Crank this. Now, should be able to go all the way up. Bam! Almost. Hanging up right here. Oh, you know what it is? Nope. All right. Do it again. More down bubble. Try not 
to move that cable too much. Got it. Down. Up. Got it. So the key is this cable from the bottom of the roller goes up to here. The top of the roller goes down. So put the down one on first around this one. Go all the way across. Over. Down. Up and then you're good and then this is your tensioner I had to loosen these two to get it on there these two are fixed they're on a rail down here there's screws down here but they're tight I think cable noise but that's because it was all fucking twisted and shit and put on wrong the first time so double check everything maybe some WD-40 on that roller the crank mechanism I'll try it, but first, down in here there's a little surface rust, so that's because of the window. So I'm going to vacuum this out, clean it, so there's some rust down there, we're going to treat that. This is just for fun, okay? A fat guy doing wiring on a Fiat. Now, <laughs> now I gotta go see my acupuncture guy and my chiropractor. Go for it, stop recording. Go for it, stop recording. <laughs>